Hello friends, today we see what is a variable acceleration motion. So let's start. Variable acceleration motion VAM. So in previous video, we see what is a uniform velocity motion and what is a uniform acceleration motion. So in so in uniform velocity motion, the velocity of particle is uniform means if the velocity of particle is 2 meter per second if the velocity of particle is 2 meter per second then particle cover 2 meter distance in every seconds means in further if in one second particle cover 2 meter distance then in next one second it cover another 2 meter distance in uniform acceleration motion as the name suggests, in this motion, acceleration is constant, means rate of change of velocity of the particle is constant. Since acceleration is constant, if the particle has acceleration 2 meter per second square, means 2 meter per second per second, in every second, the velocity of particle increases by 2 meter per second. In first interval from in one second, the particle velocity is 2 meter per second. In next one second, the particle of velocity of particle is 4 meter per second because in every second the velocity of particle is goes on increasing. Today we see what is a variable acceleration motion that is VAN. As the name suggests, in this motion the acceleration of the particle is keep on changing. Here, the acceleration is not constant, means the rate of change of velocity with respect to time is keep on changing, means every second the velocity of particle may be increase or decrease because acceleration is not constant. So here we get different different equations of the motion. Here, the acceleration may be function of t or may be function of v or may be function of x. In variable acceleration motion, the acceleration keep on changing. For example, for example, let us consider a particle moving from point A to point B. Okay, the initial velocity of particle at A let's consider 0 and time is 0 the acceleration of particle from a to b is t1 t plus 1 meter per second square let us assume here a is a function of t if t is goes changes the acceleration of particle keep on changing if t is 1 second the acceleration will be 2 if t is 2 second, then acceleration is 3. If t is 3 second, then acceleration is 4. Here acceleration of the particle keep on changing. Therefore, the part motion of the particle is variable acceleration motion. Okay. So, initially, we say acceleration may be function of t or function of velocity or function of x okay so in uniform acceleration motion we have three equation three newton equation motion equation so we can calculate from this equation displacement velocity and acceleration but here there are so many motion equation maybe t is t square or acceleration is equal to t plus 2 3 or acceleration is equal to t square plus t there are so many equations so we can derive there are so many motions for the acceleration so we can derive each motion each equation so how to solve this problem then so in variable acceleration motion the displacement or position is a function of t 
okay so we know the displacement which is in the form of equation of t we have to calculate the velocity at a instant t okay <laughs> by the definition of velocity the rate of change of displace, displacement with respect to time is known as a velocity means v is equal to ds by dt if we differentiate the displacement with respect to time we get the velocity at particular instance let's say t1 okay then by the definition of acceleration the acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to time so we get the velocity in the form of t if we differentiate this velocity with respect to time we get acceleration so we get first equation that is v is equal to ds upon dt differentiate displacement or position with respect to time we get the velocity after getting velocity if we differentiate this velocity with respect to time we get acceleration at that particular time instant okay at initially i mentioned in variable acceleration motion acceleration is not constant means acceleration is maybe function of t maybe function of velocity or maybe function of displacement or position so here displacement in the is in the form of function of t mean if acceleration is a function of v or function of s or x okay so <laughs> what we can use here here is a dis function in the form of t and here function is a form in the form of v so using this equation a is equal to dv by dt okay we know the acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to time okay if we multiply divided by dx we know dx upon dt or ds upon dt is v so here we get another formula that is a is equal to v into dv by dx so we get three formulas first v is equal to ds upon dt another acceleration is equal to dv upon dt another formula acceleration v into dv by dx okay so the point remembers at the solving problem okay if we know the displacement if we know the displacement and we have to calculate velocity if in problem we know the displacement and we have to calculate the velocity then differentiate displacement with respect to time we get velocity that is v is equal to ds upon okay if we know the displacement and we have to calculate acceleration okay then differentiate velocity with respect to time okay if in question they mention acceleration in the form of t or function of t and they have they ask to calculate the velocity then just simply integrate integrate acceleration we get velocity okay if we know the velocity and we have to calculate the displacement then simply integrate we get the displacement thank you if you like my video please like share and subscribe our channel thank you